Hey guys, it's uh, Beer now, and I've come into this problem when I'm trying to make my game, uh, which you can play in the link below, uh, in the underbar. Okay, now here's my here's my level, uh, and here it is, and stuff. Uh, don't mind that, that's my computer. Uh, we're just gonna zoom in over here, and we're just gonna uh, point your attention to these things. Uh, in this, in one of these levels, like not the, in, in one of my levels, every single object is invisible. Uh, the lighting still remains, but uh, the shadow effect works on the platforms. But the lighting, I'm not quite sure. Uh, what what's going on? Uh, but all the objects are gone. Uh, the thing is that, okay, now here's the thing. The lighting, I'm assuming, uh, the lighting. Uh, is meant to have a c lighting is meant to have a culling mask, uh, which which determines what layers or like just basically what tagged objects can cannot actually be affected by the lighting. Uh, so it, it it's useful for certain things like going through stuff and stuff. Uh, and same for the camera. The camera can also ignore certain objects, so it won't uh, so it won't see them. So it'll just see right through them. Uh, but now here's the thing. My camera is a prefab, which if you don't know, a prefab is kinda like a container of your components, uh, which is basically just all the stuff that your object can do. Uh it's basically a container that can be used in uh that can be created well you can create several instances of that object and then you can and then they're all linked to this uh to just uh the one uh hierarchy of object, so you can just edit this one object, and it will change all the instances to what you change it to. So that's that's awesome. Uh, but here's the thing: my calling mask is set to everything. If it's set to nothing, you can't see a thing. If it's set to everything, you can see everything. Uh, now let's go to this level. Uh, okay. Uh, notice how the skybox is different. That's just because the stage is different. Uh, if we go over to the stage, we'll notice that there's fire effects and there's uh, the stage. Go there's the stage. Uh, yeah, there's... Oh gosh. Yeah, I am upside down. Okay, so there's lots of lighting and stuff all over the level. Uh, let's just go to our player, and yeah, the player and the camera are prefabs from the previous level that we saw. The default camera still has the culling mask of everything. The player has pretty much everything the same. The only thing different is actually just the layout of the level. Uh, pretty much. The boxes are prefabs actually. The lighting is completely different, uh, but it's generally the same thing because I copy pasted this. The pre oh gosh, I keep turning this thing upside down and all. Uh, yeah. Where'd you go? There'd you go. Um, all the way around. Uh, so yeah. Uh, and I find it just weird how the game will not notice it, cause will not see anything. Uh, so, so let's just lo play the level, and it's lagging a bit. Notice how the player's shadow is still there. Notice how the player's shadow seems to rebound off objects. Uh, if we go up to where the player is right now in the... Oh. Don't need this, I need this. I said this! There we go. See, see how the player is here? The player is moving in the sense of the world, but he's not actually being seen by the camera, and so is everything else. The flame the particle effect right there is being noticed, which is a bit odd. Uh, the particle effect is in the default layer. The player is in a player layer, the camera is in the default layer, uh, the finish is in the default layer, but the grass is in the default la layer. And the camera calls, well, calling mask says everything, so it should see everything. That's right there, but it doesn't, which is a weird thing. Uh, so yeah, 
That's just a very old thing. Now, if we just go over to this, uh, Procleon has responded to my all game objects and invisible thing. Another link in the underbar. It says, well, none of that worked. I am stumped. I, what happens if you add a new object? Does the same problem occur? If so, if the problem is a global effect. In that case, let us try, let's try putting a sphere into the stage, because I like spheres. Spheres are cool. So we'll just throw a sphere just there. There in the stage, just very early. So the stage is beginning, the player falls onto the first platform, and hopefully, yep, here's the player. And notice how the sphere seems to get the shadow lighting over it, but it doesn't actually seem to be appearing, which is a bit of a weird uh, thing that's going on. So, I'm sorry, but adding a new object doesn't actually work. Uh, can you roll back to a previous version? I can't actually roll back to a previous version and restore my stuff, because I'm not really that backup -y kind of person. However, I have saved builds of my game, and I have this build of my game, which currently works fine, and I'll just show you it a little bit later. The other thing is that also, do you have the same display problems on another computer? I have not tried that, and I cannot try that, because I don't actually have access to another computer that has Unity, and I can't seem to run it off of my flash drive, so... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I can't do it. Uh, and have you made changes to your video card or drivers? No, I haven't. I I've had the same video card for about a year, and my driver is getting old now, but, but I'll probably change it soon, but yeah. So I know all these uh, questions, but yeah. So thanks Procleon for asking some stuff, but I'm sorry, but none of this kind of works. Now let's just let's just go to this uh, uh, the web publish of this game before. I have, by the way, this happens. Uh, this happens because uh, I just send the player to the scene, and then the, and then the falling character, sorry, uh, the falling character hits this thing, and it will hit invisible game object, and then, and then what's well, this level? Uh, this is how the level is. The shadow effect is not in it because I have not actually put the shadow effect in this build, but, uh, but this is how the level should go. Uh, uh, so, it's just a weird problem that has been occurring in this. I don't know how to fix it, I don't know why it's happening. I, I, I am actually probably gonna redo this level anyways, due to level design, but, but I find it quite weird how this doesn't happen. Well, the, everything disappears, and that actually is meant to happen, I'm just really too lazy. So yeah, just falls down and does that. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys have any... Oh, and I've got to show you this one thing. Uh, I have recently... No, I do not want to save. I recently made a loading screen uh, here, uh, which involves a tiny cube being right under this box, and the camera is attached to the box. So the box will fall with the camera connected to it, and that looks really cool to me. The sky box is quite ugly, but... Let's just not go into that. Anyway, uh, but here's the thing. I decided to pick this one of my skyboxes because if I go to render settings and I select my sky box, I don't know how to spell skybox. Uh, if I go to skybox, I've got a material for most ones. If I go to skybox three, oh my gosh, where'd the cube go? Well, if we go over here to where the cube actually is, the, or the loose rotation box, should we say. We'll go to the top view, and we'll just go there. So the top view, the box will not get smaller as it moves away, because this is a nice symmetric view. But you can see that the, that the cube is moving across. However, where is the cube? Isn't the camera connected to the cube? Well, it is. So, I'm having this weird thought that it could be the skybox. Uh, but it's weird, because I've used the skybox like this before, but for some odd reason, uh, I'm just gonna find the skybox. Uh, here's the skybox. Uh, for some odd reason, the skybox will not actually find everything, which is weird. I have not touched the light mapping stuff. 
Uh, it's, it's just a strange thing that's going on. Uh, so if you guys have any... If you guys know any way to solve this, please write it in the comments or write it on the Unity Answers page. Uh, and I hope, and hopefully, you'll help me solve this. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.